Hi, I'm Shane, and welcome to Rock on the Planet, the show dedicated to bringing live New Zealand music to your television screens every single week of the year. Tonight, my very special guests are the crazy, the crazy Gary Harvey Band. Here they are. It's such a pleasure to have them here. Hi, Gary. Hi, Lise. Hi, Adam. Hi, Tony. Lovely. Now, look, you guys really rocked your socks off last Friday at the CT Club in Remuera, and we're going to dash down there before we get to talk to you and catch up with what you were doing, okay? No bright city lights, trash all around. Gotta get my feet back on the ground. Early morning, bad taste. Don't want to come undone I'm gonna take you one by one And lose my head Not wind up dead The laptop's down I'm tired of thinking If they don't see Nothing left to say Big bad city pain There's water everywhere I'm gonna go, I don't know where Big bad, big gun Take what he needs Just what it means I lose my head Not wind up dead And I'll have to stand I'm tired of thinking If they don't see What it means to me Gotta get it right If you wanna fight Nothing left to say. That's a little number called Nothing Left. And believe me, there's plenty left in this guy, I'm telling you. Mr. Gary Harvey, who actually wrote that song. Hiya, Gary. Good to see you. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a great guffaw, hasn't he? Hey, Gary, good to see you, mate. And you have a fantastic band, as we just saw. And, you, and you're writing all the music, you're writing all the songs. Yeah. Now, oh, yeah. I want to go back to where we first met, and you had bands like The Bodies. Uh, there was another band, the Red House Rockers. The Red House Rockers. Now, tell me about um, your inspiration in those days. You know, we're talking about the 60s, folks. Well, the 60s, yeah. Not age-wise. <laughs> age-wise? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was all back then, you know, the John Mayles Blues Breakers and, you yeah. know, Spencer Davis and, you know, Eric Clapton Blues that Breakers and all that sort of stuff, you know. It was going the around blues. Here. Along with the Lardy Dars and all the boys, yeah. you know, that's what we're all listening to, Graham Bond organisation yeah. and so on, you know. And then from that we just went, went to mean, the Texas Blues thing. In those old days, I can remember we communicated, because I was in England at one stage in the 1970s or Night whatever, Wolf, wasn't it? and we stayed friends right through that era. Yeah. I remember I used to write you letters, you mm. write back to me. Because there was no internet in those days, and he'd say, "Here you going?" Really? Gary said, "Well, when you're doing good, you know, I'm coming over to play bass for you." But, you but I never did. You never you did. Didn't no. never, you didn't never do, invited I me. I didn't do any good. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I went. And I couldn't afford you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but we were good mates, and uh, and so the bodies. Uh, what happened with that? that? That was the group you had, and you had several, a lot of quite well-known. 60s yes, musicians were in that band. We had uh, Lou Rawnsley on guitar. Lou Rawnsley from the underdog. Tony Walton on drums. Another underdog. And uh, they left. Yeah. And went and joined the underdogs. And they, uh, they that went was off. it. Finished. Yeah. End of story. So yes. went on to fame and fortune. Yeah. Well, for a little while anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <You're still there. laughs> you don't see those guys around. So <laughs> you're still there. No, no, that's true. But uh, yeah, so that's what that's when it. It sort of died basically, and then I formed another band after that called Christian Bruce with Bruce Sonjan and um, Dave, who was in the Bodies, yep. and uh, Trevor um, Crump on drums, 
and uh, me, of course. I think I was the bass player. Oh, I fucking remember no, that. But you are the, you are the bass player. player. Uh, you know, the bass I did player. do a little bit of singing. And John Christian on. Oh, of course, the lovely, late John Christian. Yeah, yeah sadly. And, uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. All great musos. Yeah. yeah it must good. have been a hell of a band, actually. Yeah, it was. I yeah. can't remember it. No, that's what we were talking about a long time ago. We've gone way back. <laughs> but we'd like to know where you... Just out of curiosity, how come you picked up the bass at the beginning anyway? How how did you become a bass player? I mean, how did I is it just your inspiration was Jet Aris or, well, uh, <clears throat> you know, the guy from Cream? Well, how I became a bass player was the, the, the guys that I used to hang around with uh, had a band, you know, playing all shadow stuff, and the bass player was absolutely useless. And I had a six-string guitar, and they said, Gary, you want to have a go playing bass? So I sold a six-string to Bill Belton, traded it in for a... Oh, well, Bill, <laughs> yeah. Bill Belton, another great bass player. Yeah. Traded in for a, a, a Jansen bass, and um, yeah. they taught me all the basses, and away we went, doing shadow stuff. You know, oh, so like, you started uh, out on that, that, that trick, yeah? Doing the foots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that stuff. White shirt, yeah. ties, yeah. you know, yeah. the whole bit, you know. Sunday did, yeah. social what club. What was the name of that bit? Well, the cavemen. <laughs> 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 Enough said. Enough <laughs> said, mate. <laughs> it, was, uh, yeah, it was good. Actually, we were a big hit at the social yeah, club. Yeah. And I'm, sure the were, I'm sure you were. I actually, probably went and saw you play. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bombed away. But yeah, Jet Harris, you know, yeah. that was... Of course, uh, Jet Harris. He was you the, know, Jet uh, Harris was the man. I, I said, the man. They had these two guys with black hair and red and white guitars, and they had a guy in the middle yeah. with white hair and a black and red. I want to be that guy. That's, yeah, I want to be yeah. the guy. He was the good looking dude when he well, was. He like, was. Ah, yeah. you're right. As I am today. That, yeah, as you are now. Yeah, yeah you, are the, <laughs> you are the hero now. Here's a bit no, longer. But. Um, through the 70s, anyway, after the 60s, you moved on. You had, must have had a lot of bands through the years. But when did you actually become Gary Harvey band? You decided to take matters under control and sort it out and say, well, I I want to write my own songs and be Gary Harvey band. <laughs> Is there... Um, you looking at the other guys? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We, we started... Me and Tony sort of formed this band about 1996, I think, when okay. I came back from England. And then it was, it was the Rippers. And then it developed into Rattlesnake Shake. And then it became Gary Harvey and the Night Owls about 2000, band, was it? Yeah, 19, yes. about, about 2000 it became yeah, Gary Harvey that, and the yeah. Night Owls. And every time we started playing places, we'd turn up to these gigs and they'd have... Gary Harvey and no Night Owls. Yes. <laughs> and then they'd have the Night Owls and no yeah, Gary yeah. Harvey. So I thought, well, yeah. hang Let's on. Let's make it simple. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it simple. Yeah. So, put band on the end. Yeah, just put Gary Harvey yeah. band. So, you know, I thought. What I'm, were you doing in England? Just may I ask, were you on holiday or were you over there working? And you oh, when I was in England. For a while um, yeah, I, I, well, I lived music. there for five years the first time, uh, two years the second time. And the first time, you know, yeah, we I managed to get a job playing bass for free. I got asked to join Steeler's Wheel. Well, tell um, me, this is really good. So you and, work with um, Steeler's Wheel and free. Yeah, I didn't. I'd, two great bands. And I um, got asked to join uh, Super Tramp, and I said no because I'm a blues man. Yeah. I'm not playing any of that stuff. I'm blues man. Well, I saw, I, what's, the, <laughs> what's the singer's name in Super Tramp? I saw it with the keyboard player who wrote all the songs. Uh, Wonderful yeah. artist, great singer, great songs. Serves your bloody rat. But anyway, I saw him at Wembley in England, and he had no bass player. He was just him and his keyboard player. Mm. So he was sadly lacking, I thought. So uh, he probably is really kicking himself that. You turned him down. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> Very much so. I actually turned them down. They went on to make Breakfast in America. Oh, there you <laughs> I go. I sort of thought, oh, hang I on. I should have been that on was, that. That was, that was a mm. bad mistake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wrong decision. No. <laughs> wrong decision. Yeah. But, but well, we always make those uh, but, in our uh, career, don't we? But yeah, I mean, you know, and I, I, I don't know whether you remember Clive Coulson. Do you remember yeah, Clive, Clive in the Dark Ages? Clive, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I met Rody Clive over there. Yeah. And that's, uh, we hang out with Clive when we were over there and, you know, went and saw... Went and saw Led Zeppelin at the... There were a lot of people out there would remember Clive. Uh, I had to butt in there because um, he was the roadie for Led Zeppelin, also the singer of Dark Ages. But um, he ended up doing really well over there. Yeah, he I had a great, golf course yeah. and all yeah. the rest of it. He was yeah. multi, you know, he was rolling in it. Yeah, he was actually. Um, he ended up a very rich man. He but, did. And what happened? Sadly, he, his demise. He, he had a heart attack or something, wasn't he? I'd yeah. I've forgotten now. It's something, a heart yeah. attack, yeah. And he passed away, but... Um, there you go. So, Clive Corson. So, Clive helped you when you got over there. and um, Well, he took us around. We went and saw the pretty things and all those yeah, guys. All the guys and, yeah, all those guys, yeah. You know, met all those guys. It was, yeah, uh, great guys. You know, he was, uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. But, uh, well, I'm going to come back to you in a little while, Gary. 
I've got to get back to the CT club now and watch you playing. Really? And this time we've got Lise in the front of the band and we're going to watch a spectacular song, another one that you wrote. Let's get back to the CT club. Greyhound bus Gotta get to Memphis Don't want no fuss I won't be a prisoner I ain't gonna be no slave Fought for a freedom I won't give away Early morning rising Gotta catch that train Fantastic job on that song, I must say. But Gary, you wrote that song? Yep. Yeah, okay. And, and it must consistently writing now. I mean, you're writing a lot of songs, and all the guys seem to love them. They're all playing them and making it with some great stuff there. They're, I mean, I'm in international standards. I mean, are great. Oh, thank you. You're writing fantastic. Uh, have you made a, a point of writing songs right through the last decades? Yeah, yeah. It's, you, you've it, it, it's consistently just, written? Yeah. Now I write them, they, they, they sort of uh, spring up all the time. Yeah. Now it's a bit like old J.J. Cale said, you never plan it, just happens. Yeah, you know? exactly, it just pours and, uh, out. You know, just, uh, yeah, I just get yeah. ideas and sit around and, and away they go. I'm, I'm going to get you to play me a little jam in a while, um, the one that you, um, I really love that song you played on the acoustic TV yeah. just before, and um, we'll chat about that in a minute. But Gary, thanks, mate. Good talking Cheers. to you. Well, she's better looking. <laughs> <laughs> Lise, how Thanks. are you, love? I'm well, how it's are you? It's fantastic meeting you. I'm you just, too. Mm, yeah. oh, oh, my, my chair's gone from me. <laughs> I had the that effect on people. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened. Well, well, she's gone. <laughs> yeah, I do. Now look, fancy you fronting this band. God, I can see it's going to happen. How could I resist, um, you know? Now, how could you resist, <laughs> yes. <laughs> But uh, love it. Now your career, you're relatively young compared to lo looking really? around the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I never ask a lady her age, but uh, your career, have you been singing in other bands before this? And uh, Yeah, I'm in another band called Red Harvest. Yeah, nice yeah. band too, yeah. good band. Yeah, rock band. Yeah, rock band, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I call these guys rock band. Though, Absolutely, you? he's a but rock star. More bluesy. Hey. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you are. What have I started? Okay. <laughs> but um, and, and so you, you're working in a rock band, mm -hmm. uh, another rock band, of course, Red Harvest. Yeah. Um, is that where your career started with this band? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've done a bit of duo work. I was um, before Red Harvest. I was doing some duo work yeah. and. And you just slowly 
worked your way into where you yeah, are now. Yeah, I just so. love rock. So. It's a great voice. Yeah. Oh, a great thank voice, you. great future, I'm sure. Thank you very uh, much. The, the, the face <laughs> of, you know, New Zealand is crying out for good female vocalists yeah. in rock bands. They haven't got them. No. I don't think they've got many. And you, you do <laughs> have a very <laughs> unique voice. And it's thank not you. too harsh, you know, it's really pleasant to listen to and it rocks. It's not <laughs> probably what you want. I don't want to be too pleasant. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll sound like you. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and where do you see your future going? You stay with the band for now, uh, as it is, and mm -hmm. um, you progress and keep singing Gary Harvey songs. Yeah, 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 I enjoy doing... Uh, yeah. Do you write music yourself? I do, yeah, yeah. So um, Red Harvest is mostly an original band. So Red Harvest is a separate entity, and you... You were yeah, I write that. for Red Harvest. Yeah, yeah. You write, yeah. That's where you progress yeah. with your songs and yeah. so on. Who else is in Red Harvest with you? Um, Stray Falcon here. Stray Falcon, we <laughs> call him, yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk to Stray in a minute. And no, <laughs> I don't talk to anybody. Uh, but so, and there's the two of you, but you're writing and you're creating some music of your own. And that's yeah, cool. you actually write together. And so. there's actually a lot of, I've seen it on social media and all that sort of stuff. All right, You've okay. got a lot of stuff out there going on. Yeah, so um, thank you. you're a very busy girl in the music business. I am. I enjoy it. It's Fantastic. my happy place. I love it. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to get back now and with Stray Falcon as we call him. Mm -hmm. Tonight we call him Adam because mm -hmm. he's in the Gary Harvey band <laughs> and we're going to watch him at the CT Club playing a real mean guitar but before we do what is that guitar you're playing? Oh gosh hey Shane it's an, it's an old Ibanez. Uh, is it an Ibanez? An Ibanez um, Iceman. Yeah. yeah, you would have seen the band in the seventies. Yeah, oh. they're, they're, yeah. Originally, yeah, Kiss might have played one of those. You've got it. Yeah, that's one. You've got the one. You've got the one. It's just look. Yeah. I thought, wow, that's quite yeah, unique. Yeah. I liked it. I thought, oh, what is a nice looking guitar? Yeah, yeah. it was ugly then, but it's yeah. good now. <laughs> so yeah, fashion yeah. change. It's fashion. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, let's watch you create Avon on that <laughs> guitar. <laughs> It ain't pretty, and it wasn't the night that I met Adam, that fantastic guitar player, I'm telling you. Now, it's great to see you again. Hey, good to see you again, yeah. You're yeah. looking Fantastic. good. Hey, thank you. Now, I don't know whether to call you Stray Falcon or uh, Adam's the best way. Hey, look, Adam it's tonight. Fine. Adam's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's great. Stray Falcon's a great name, though. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you where you found that name? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. Now that's a long story. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a long story. That's a long story, Shane. It goes back to the days of playing in the Brits, and um, and we yeah. another hour or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty yeah. much. Pretty always much. straight. Yeah, was yeah. Always, yeah. Is well, that something yeah. that was straight? Yeah, was yeah, pretty much. Okay, pretty much. well, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're a cool dude, anyway. We love you. Um, now, with this band, you've just recently. I mean, how long have you been with this band? Uh, with with Gary, I've been on and off with Gary over the years. I played f with, uh, for Gary full time uh, a few years ago, and um, we've always kept in touch. We've always had a had a very close relationship, you know, with the music and yeah. and songs and stuff. And um, you know, it's an absolute privilege uh, being able to play with um, with Gary. And mm. um, you know, there's a lot of street cred and history going down with Gary. Oh, so I've always a... I've always thought that well, hey. It, it's really special when you get the call from Gary. So, um, hey, look, he gave me a call a few weeks ago, and it was just one of those things. I stepped up and I thought, and busy you know, rehearsing. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So and we're you're on tour. We, yeah, yeah, we're on tour. So, um, it, it was just one of those things. Um, like I say, Shane, it's a it's a big privilege being able to uh, play with these guys again. Yeah. So, no, yeah. it is. It is. Uh, I'm sure it is. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a great to sit with the old guy. Yeah. In it, eh? Yeah. Oh, He's hey, fantastic. You know, he and I. <laughs> geez, sorry, mate. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he and I are the same age. No. He said he wouldn't tell anyone, so I said I Early will. 30s. <laughs> yeah, we're both wow. in our 40s. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
We've been around for <laughs> years. G'day, mate. There is a song, Lie to Me, which uh, Gary did pen uh, a wee way back. Lie to Me, is that, is that what you guys are talking about? Lie to Me, yeah, that's one of the songs. That's one, that's of, the one of the songs. It's Great. all about that story. Oh, no, fantastic. But, uh, now, Adam, um, where did your career start? Uh, oh, I know you gosh. told me a little bit of your history. Uh, Before you met up with Gary. And wow, uh, I'd, I'd basically been playing in bands uh, locally here uh, yeah. in Auckland. Um, I, I think, if anything, my first break came with uh, the Sunny Day band. Um, that would have been the late 70s, early 80s. Yeah, you're talking legends. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and that was fantastic. We used to always play up at the, uh, the Leopard Tavern, the upstairs bar. Yes. I think you yeah, all yeah. your viewers will remember that. I think I've been up there. And would finish off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and would, down there. Yeah, <laughs> and, and would finish off um, up at the Musos Club, which um, I do uh, recall um, you mentioning Ricky Ball, I think, yeah, uh, one night. Myself yeah. and Ricky Ball. Yeah. Ricky Ball, the drummer for Hello Sailor. Hello of Sailor, yeah, yeah. And various other bands. He worked in bands with me but uh and the challenge and yeah so on. wow great, great history another yeah. great struggle and he's still out there doing it still yeah working. yeah good stuff yeah. and we yeah. all met up there one night this is way back in the oh, early 80s very early 80s 80, yeah. 80, 80, 81. at least 81 82 yeah. yes so. and um i i really believe there was a big co uh, hand on our collars and I we were being so. led out of the club. <laughs> <laughs> ricky ball and i yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let you stay <laughs> <laughs> that, though, viewers, was for autographs yeah, only, though. Yeah, I think yeah, now I'm out at the top. You knew people in high places. We didn't. No, not me. Not me. Musicians Club. We are excellent. <laughs> out. Get out of here. So, but, yeah, they're great times. Yeah, but, uh, really great really. times and yeah. what the hell, you know, we're having yeah. a good time. We're hurting anyone, were we? No, not at all. Uh, <laughs> hurt down the stairs, though, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but your career, I mean, um, from now, um, you got Stray Falcon. I really need to harp on that because well, it's okay. an important part of your career. Like you have Red Harvest, sure, and yeah. uh, Stray Falcon. Well, the Stray Falcon thing. I think it was one of those um, pseudonyms that came about um, probably towards the latter part of the eighties when I had my own yeah. three piece. Uh, I think uh, back okay. then, I mean, Gary was going that explains going it. strong. Yeah, Gary was going strong as a, as a three piece powerhouse trio, and it was very uh, you know inspirational. Mm. Seeing guys like Gary, uh, you had uh, Mantra. Uh, Eddie Car um, Car, I think. Um, oh, Jack yeah, Car Jack Car Car. Yeah, he was great music. Guys, a lot. So it was melting pot of a lot of trios back then, powerhouse trios. But one yeah. that stood out um, uh, amongst all those great bands was certainly uh, Gary Harvey with his three piece trio. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Red yeah, House Rockers. Was. Yeah, back then. And, and uh, they were opening for George Thorogood, gosh, yeah. uh, the, the Eager Winter Band. You know, yeah. So, wow. Yeah, so a lot of names there. That was really inspirational for yeah. myself. So that's pretty much where the, uh, the Stray Falcon thing And I have to say, to Gary, he stayed with that concept yeah, right through. Yeah. He's never changed it. He's mm. always stayed with the powerhouse trio yeah, thing. Yeah, know? yeah. Just guitar, bass, and drums, and band. Yep. No keyboards. Good stuff. Rocking on, man. And everyone leaves. Players don't, don't, they just don't get a solo. <laughs> I can't stand this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I never get a song. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, you guys rock, all right. Yeah, great stuff. All right. Well, look, we're going to rock back to the CT Club very quickly and rock on with another great number of Gary's The Real Blues. Roxy is banging red choo joint too. Roxy is banging red choo joint too. Mississippi Dollar got a hold on you. Mississippi Dollar got a hold on you. The news. Head and love spreads the news. Paul Monkey Judge gonna sing her blues. Paul Monkey Judge gonna sing her blues. Rap says stay as long as you want. Key in the door, you're gone. Key in the door, you're gone. Key in the door, you're gone. Found Sarah at the street steady. And touch your soul in the house of friends. Touch your soul in the house of red. Touch your soul in the house of red. Out on Highway 61, crossroads beat and the tear is done. Crossroads beat and the tear is done. Crossroads beat and the tear is done. Out on Highway 61, crossroads beat and the tear is done. Crossroads beat and the tear is done. Yeah, 
Ground Zero, and I must say, fantastic vocal, Gary. I really love your vocal on that very bluesy thing. I'm going to talk to Tony in just a moment, another member of the Gary Harvey Band. But first of all, Gary, I just want to know, you wrote that song. It's not about, it's called Ground Zero, obviously, but it's not about the Ground Zero that we all know, the disaster in New York, like 9-11 no. or anything like no, that. No, it's not, no. It's, it's a totally a, different Ground Zero. Yeah, it's, it's about Morgan Freeman's club in, in uh, Clarksdale. We and Morgan to, Freeman yeah. being the actress. Yes, yep. that's, uh, and we <coughs> went there in 2008 with uh, Ian Thompson from, you know, the uh, Flaming Mudcats. Oh, great guys. Yeah, great and guys. Uh, so we did, you know, just went around there. And so the song is basically all about, we did a bit of a tour around Mississippi, so it's just all Get about Mississippi and, and, uh, and going to Ground Zero. That's, 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 where, that's where the song came out So it was a of. nightclub. It was a nightclub. At the time. Juke joint. A yeah. juke joint. Yeah. Good on you. Okay, no, thanks, Gary. Cool. Great song anyway. But Tony. Good on you, mate. Thanks, yeah. Good to see you here. Thanks for oh, being so man. patient. I do. I cool. really wanted to catch up with you. Now, your career, apart from the Gary Harvey band, has been going a long time. And, going a few years, and, yeah. Uh, you play a great yeah, guitar. A long and, time. As you say, a few years. Yeah. yeah. That's enough. But uh, who'd you start out with uh, way back? Oh, yeah. wow. We started out a long time ago, school days, basically, you know, sort yeah. of a bunch of schoolmates and. Yeah, yeah, I just hear slightly. Do you have an English accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you are English. Comes from England, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's why I better check. Right? I thought maybe you. Yeah, no, it's. So, it's Pat, how are you? you no, know, well, yeah, I came out. Oh, you're a man I after my heart. Thirteen, I guess. Yeah, whereabouts yeah. were you brought up in England? London, yeah. In London, Ealing, whereabouts? Ealing. In Ealing. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, hold that against you. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Guildford, down in Surrey. Yeah, right. Yeah, of course. There you go. So we were neighbours, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Growing up, anyway. Well, it's. I mean, a lot of people came from that area. They certainly you know. did, yeah. So anyway, so were you playing music in England or would you come no, out quite young? No, I just, yeah, when I came over here, I think just, um, I was lucky enough to have a sort of distant cousin who was a really great guitar player. Chris Amberford, I don't know whether you know Chris. Chris, yeah. Very good guitar player. Um, and yeah, He started just, to show yeah. you a few licks on the old guitar. Yeah, and, and from there, it just sort of, yeah. And it progressed. And you started in your first band, what, in Auckland again, yeah, like you say? School days, yeah. School days and things. Just went out and started playing. Uh, are you from the North Shore? Or from yeah, yeah, from the Shore. I'm yeah. only asking that because I know Gary has lived on the North Shore yep. just about all his life. Yeah, yeah, now I'm a Shore and, right, as well. um, yeah, always Lived here, yeah. That's how I met sure. Gary through my family. We're all lived on the shore when we were first here, and yeah. way, way, way back, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So Gary sort of imposed himself on our lives. You know? <laughs> really? <laughs> no, no, I don't think we're getting it at all. It was a lovely chat. It was a lovely chat. Very good. I started him off again. But uh, so you, you you, you've lived on. <laughs> I am, or I don't know. <laughs> but you lived on the shore all this time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah and uh, and you yeah. played. Uh, what you say? The the band was called. Going back then, oh, we went through so many bands. Well, I guess the last thing was Medicine Hat would have been the sort of last. Yeah. Before I joined up with Gary, would have been Medicine yeah. Hat. A few other bands, Gangsters and Charlatans. Yeah. Uh, we did all sorts of jazz and R and B yeah, stuff. So you've played you know, all sorts of music. Yeah, all sorts of music. What sort yeah. of guitar do you play, or what do you prefer? Oh. I'm going to go into the music instruments. There's a few. There's a few. I mean, big Fender man, Gibsons, obviously. Yeah. But uh, Fenders and Gibsons. Yeah, PRS is the new yeah. one. Yeah, PRS. New that's one. why I asked you about that guitar you're playing here in the show. Nice guitar. And yeah. it's like it's got the gold of a you know Les yeah, Paul. Les Paul. Yeah. I thought, oh, that looks like a Les Paul, but it's got the single cutaway yeah, thing. It's a great guitar. It's, it's a cross between a Gibson guitar, and a Fender, yeah. so you get the best. Yeah, it's a real crossover. Best of both words, you know, and where are they made? America. Yeah. Yeah, American. Yeah. 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 I'm trying. trying to, I'm sounding ignorant, but I'm just trying to get. Get it out, he said. Uh, tell yeah, me about the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> they're lovely guitars. But uh, what, what pulled you into that guitar? I mean, um, well, you went say, in the um, shop, just tried it, and said, hey, no, that's got no, a good sound. Uh, one of my favourite guitar players, a guy called David Grissom from ah. Texas. Ah. And he plays a Paul Reese Smith, and that yes. was his signature model. And I, it just, because I build guitars yes. and, and fix guitars and things, and he just seemed to do everything right about the design yeah. of that guitar yeah. and I thought yeah this is too good not to it suited you right not to have a go yeah, it's just beautiful guitar yeah this is a lovely guitar I yeah, must admit it just sounds great you know. and so we're it's taken it's taken preference all my other guitars well it's it stood out when I, as soon as I looked at the footage went wow 
what's he playing? <laughs> you know, that's a nice guitar. That's a good sound. Yeah. So it's, it's and it is all about the look as well as the uh, yeah, yeah. show business. Yeah, it's part of it. But it's just the design <laughs> of it. Hey, it just works. Hey, it just good works. on you. All right. Now, um, would you mind playing guitars for us and have a little jam? Yeah, yeah we can yeah, do we'll, that. We'll, we'll have a go. And play a song or something for us. Sounds good. Just on their acoustic guitars? Yes, we can, do that. we can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause, everybody. We're going to play for us. <laughs> Just give us a few seconds to rearrange a few things and we get back to you with the Music Planet Jam. <laughs> Look, it's been fantastic having you here, spending the evening with me tonight. I mean, I thought you were coming in for five minutes and you've been here for hours. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Jesus, a hard man. Always the last one to leave the party. Let's go. <laughs> Gary Harvey, <laughs> man. But look, before we go, I really want to mention a special thing, and that's their new album, Ghost Dance. It's Gary Harvey Band, but it's a fantastic album. Believe me, take my word. It is great. Um, it's going to be playing in the car on the way home tonight for me and I'm sure that you would enjoy just doing the same. So please, again, next week, join me with another great band here from New Zealand and uh, what I can say is good night and thanks Gary Harvey Band! Thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs>